Uh, so I'm doing a quick video for you um, on my Smooth uh, Pro. Um, this is about the face following. Um, had a couple requests on just like how it works because in my last video I showed it following me, but I didn't really show how to do it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it and it's really simple after I was able to figure it out it, it goes really quick and it works really well. Um, so I'm going to show you what to do and everything like that and if you guys have any more questions just let me know. And I also have it on like a tripod right now. Um, so I'm not going to be touching it at all and you'll be able to see it that it follows me without me having to touch the joystick in case anyone was not thinking that it really followed me. All right, guys, so here's the setup right now. I have it on a tripod, and I got my Smooth Pro, and my, my phone's already on it. So we're just going to turn the phone on. You have it. So here's our Smooth app right there, Smooth Pro. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on first. So to turn it on, you just press the power button once. You have a solid green light. Then you'll press and hold it for about like 15, 20 seconds, and then it orients itself, and then you're all good to go. So from here you can use like all the joystick and do all the controls and everything like that if you're not hooked to the app. But we're going to get hooked onto the app. So we're going to go into it and I've already um, connected this via the Bluetooth but you'll need to do that before you do anything. Then after that you just hit connect device. It's going to come up on a list. Hit the list and then it's going to go into it. So as a default it uses the front facing camera to go in there, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to the to the selfie camera, just like this. So we're going to scroll up. So right now it has all these different settings and everything like that. Um, this target is the one that we're going to be working with for the follow. But one thing to know is that in the settings, or do this through the phone, um, when you click on the settings menu. It goes here, um, and it has a follow-up speed. And I have mine set for 12. Um, just that's the speed that it's going to do to follow you. Um, that's going to take to follow you around. So after that, you just hit complete, hit, and then it goes back to the thing. So we're going to go back to the selfie. All right. So now, all we want to do is we want to hit the this little button. And it goes from grayed out, right there, to yellow. And when the yellow's on, that means it's ready to follow. But right now, it's not going to follow me. Like if I go off, it doesn't follow me. Because what you have to do first is you have to draw a box around what you want it to follow. Um, so right now, I have it on my face. But I can put it in my hand. I can do whatever I want for it. But right now, so now I can just let it follow me. And it'll just follow me around. As you can see, I'm not holding it, and I can step back from it. And that little box wants to follow me around. Now, it's probably a weird optical illusion right here since it's following me and we're still seeing the screen. I mean, that's just showing you that it works and that I'm not touching anything on it. Um, but again, you can make it follow other things as well. So if I put my hand here, and I move my hand across, it wants to follow my hand. So if you have other things that you want it to follow, whether it be a product or a vehicle or whatever you want it to follow, you can have it follow it around. Now it does, like if you do speed up a little bit too much, it will try to follow it as quickly as possible. But if you go too fast, it will go, like if you go off the screen, it'll just, it'll lose you. It'll disappear. You just have to put the item back in front of it, and then it will follow it again. So that's how the auto follow works. So you'd be like a magician, raising it up. And again, go closer. So, I mean, that's it, guys. I mean, it's fairly simple how it works. Um, you can do whatever, and then to turn it off, you just hit the little button again. And then it's probably going to want to go back to the, its regular position, um, which is will be sometimes down. I did up it 
Um, but if I had it down like here, where it's kind of like at my chest and not my face, after I turned that off, it would have gone right back to there. It wouldn't have followed me um, back there. Um, so, but anyways, guys, this was just a full, you know, just quick video showing it. Um, if you think it's something cool, I mean, definitely check them out. It's, they're a new company. They're just uh, releasing this now. Um, they have two products. They have the Smooth and the Smooth Pro. This is the, the Smooth Pro. It's a three-axis gimbal. Um, so, yeah, guys, check it out. And it does um, work with GoPro as well. You just take all that off. And you get it going. So there's my little puppy. But anyways, guys. So if you liked it, definitely um, check it out. And if you like my videos, want to see more stuff, what I do, definitely let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to me. And um, I will check you later, guys. All right. Bye.